at Street Meat in Port Royal Plaza where we are talking about their fabulous menu full of street food, some history behind the name, and everything about where you can come to gather with your friends. Carrie, thank you so much for having us. Tell us a little bit about the restaurant, about the name, and about what you serve. Well, street meat slang for street vendor food. We just changed the A in meat to E as a place to meet. I get it. That's great. That works. Yeah, that's <laughs> great. And our idea was to open up a bar or tavern restaurant that did homemade uh, versions of regional American street food, kind of like the Cuban from South Florida or the po' boy from New Orleans or hot dogs from New York. And that's so important because so many people here relocate from other places in the country and we get down here and we're like, oh, where's our good street food? And you guys are knocking it out of the park with that. That was the idea is to turn the clock back 80 years and do those foods homemade like they were done you know, in the cities way back when. Like my Nona used to make. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so talk a little bit. There's some history steeped in how you came up with the concept for this restaurant. It is. Uh, Pretty Boy Floyd ate his last meal in a tavern from my hometown of Youngstown, Ohio. And um, the idea between the menu being the street food uh, and the name Street Meat, we figured why not re recreate that here on Hilton Head. And so half of the tavern is the street corner where the vendors okay. would be working, and the second half of the tavern is uh, the recreation of that story, you know, with the antique bar, and we'd have different antiques from the 1930s. And it's really cool. There's a lot of kind of historic mementos in here. When you're eating, you can walk around and look. There's pictures from the 1930s. There's a cool print up there. There's so much here to look at when you're enjoying your street food but they also have a healthy menu that we're gonna talk about next. So in addition to the fabulous, authentic street food, Shelby, who's a trainer, has this beautiful, healthy choices menu. This looks fabulous. Doesn't Shelby. it though? It does. Tell me a little bit about the menu and why you created it. Okay, so three years ago, um, my husband, he's into fitness and we all try to stay healthy and sometimes it's not easy when you work in a restaurant <laughs> or or since we're open so late at night, people come in and they still want to eat healthy. So we developed the Healthy Alternatives menu and we offer things like this is a power oh. bowl. So it's got quinoa and black beans and veggies Yum. in it. The and skinny, salmon. And salmon, of course, you can pick your protein. We have elk, we have salmon, we have wow. um, grouper. There's tons of options. Um, you can also do lettuce wraps for any of our sandwiches. We offer gluten-free uh, wraps and bread and rolls. And contrary to the name street meat, we also have um, a lot of vegetarian options that people are surprised about. Well, I'm gonna taste this. They have one of the biggest vegetarian menus on the island. Thank, Thank you. you so much for providing something so healthy. You're welcome. I am with Neil, the happiest bartender on the island, and you have prepared me one of your signature cocktails. This is called our street meat tea. It's My our most popular uh, specialty drink. Um, you know, oh. we're a late night destination. We cater to a wide variety of clientele. Um, you're sure to find people here maybe getting off work, finishing up a date, coming from one of the theaters. Uh, we're pet friendly, and uh, you're always good to be sure to find uh, great music and great people and good food here at Street Meat. And lots of different beers, all kinds of cocktails. You are a mixologist. You mix it up. So what is the base of this signature tea? Um, I would compare it to a Long Island iced tea, but it's peach flavored. It's got some peaches in there. It's really a uh, really good drink. It does it's the good. Trick. And you guys serve the full menu until late night, right? Yeah, we serve food till one and drinks even later wow. till two o'clock. So there's a lot going on, and there's even more because they are a full sports bar too. I am with Nicole, one of the owners at Street Meat, and we are in their newly expanded dining room with this fabulous mural behind us. Nicole, tell us a little bit about what you do in this room. We are the home, the official Brownsbackers bar of Hilton Head Island, so we consider ourselves sort of the home of Ohio sports, if okay. you will. We show the Cavaliers games and the Indians games, um, Ohio State Buckeyes when it's college football. Which is huge, and people are from all over, so there's so many Ohio fans that flood through here yes. for these sporting events. And it's great because we have a lot of space outside, so they can be outside as well as inside with TVs in, in both locations. Mm -hmm. So it's quite nice. There's a huge TV so you can see everything. You don't miss a beat. There's more TVs. Talk about this mural. I mean, it's massive and it's so cool. We commissioned an artist called Blake Shockley to do the paint, to, to do the mural um, and paint street meat across it. Well, it is so <laughs> cool. So street meat is in Port Royal Plaza. 
Mid Island, kind of on the north end. It's where you go to get great food, authentic food, healthy food, and just hang out with some really good people.